and welcome back to my channel again, Torathena, where today I'm reviewing the Deadpool movie. I said I'd be doing this for my Monday video because it gives people time to go and watch the film as I wanted to do a spoiler version of the movie review and it gives people time to watch it and then they're able to watch this and we can discuss the film. So anyone who watched my reaction the other day, they know that I, overall I really liked the film. Even then I did point out that there are some things wrong with it but it didn't distract away from the fact that it's a good movie. So let's find out what I thought about it now. Well, let's start off with the intro. The intro is 10 out of 10 fantastic. It took me about a minute or two to realize that the credits that were coming up on screen were actually jokes themselves, which is just brilliant. Everything you saw in the intro, down from Hello Kitty lip gloss to crotch shots to the credits being jokes, perfectly set up the feel and the atmosphere of this film. Within one minute of the film starting, you know that all our fears that it wasn't going to be adult themed enough, it wasn't going to be Deadpool enough, is thrown out the window. He swears a lot throughout this film. It is violence, there is gore, there is boobs. I genuinely don't know how this wasn't an 18. I don't know what they were missing to make this a 15 to an 18 because there's murder, gore, violence, sex, fetishes, boobs, drugs. What? What were they missing? <laughs> it was very Deadpool. Instantly, there wasn't anything we were ever concerned or worried over. It was fine. It almost instantly breaks the fourth wall, which is something that I was massively worried about that they wouldn't do. They would just make this a movie and they wouldn't acknowledge that Deadpool is in a movie. The only gripe with the fourth wall is he didn't really break the fourth wall that much. In the comics, Deadpool talks to the narrator, he has conversations with him, he's fully aware he's in a comic book. In this, he talks to the camera and narrates the film, but a lot of films do that without them actually being aware that they're in a movie. He was almost just narrating the film. I didn't think he broke the fourth wall enough. Parts where he like took the gum off the camera and moved the camera away and fourth wall within a fourth wall, stuff like that was really good and obviously yes you don't want to overdo it but he does it a lot in the comics and therefore i didn't think he did it enough in the movie i've actually heard a lot of mixed reviews with the origin story which i actually thought was done really well when most films do the first movie to a superhero or character they do the origin and it literally is from birth to usually awkward adolescence to creation and origin of the superhero, accepting the powers, embracing the powers, overcoming the powers, and then at the end, just before the credits come up, we have a superhero. In this film, it starts off with him being, he doesn't want to be a superhero, but it, it starts off with him being Deadpool. And then throughout the first half of the film, flashes back explaining how he got to this point. And then it goes, and you're pretty much up to date, and the film continues. I thought this was done really well, because obviously one of the things we all want to see is, we want to see the costume. And there it is. The film starts, he's in the costume. We don't have to wait halfway through the film to see this costume that we all know is iconic to that character. We also get an origin story, and okay, Deadpool isn't as famous as Superman or Batman, where everyone knows the origin stories to them, but it still is a fresh and unique way of getting the origin story out there without it being boring. Okay, it wasn't 100% accurate to the comics, that's fine, but it was done well. So even people who have the general idea of the origin story of Wade Wilson and becoming Deadpool, you still enjoy it, you still embrace it, and you're still entertained in a way that it doesn't get boring. For a film based on an insane man who is just crazy, I found it an incredibly emotional film. There's quite a lot of moments, especially in the origin part of it, where he's obviously falling in love, he's getting cancer, he doesn't want to hurt anyone, he doesn't want to die. There was a lot of moments where I choked up. I choked up a lot when he's on the bed and he's He's just saying how he just wants to see her again. That's all, you know, that's, that's so deep for a character that we see as just this two-dimensional funny man. You know, th there's a heart there, there's depth. It gives him this new angle that I've never seen in Wade and that's amazing. I genuinely thought the CGI was amazing and I will always comment that in a film, whether I think it was good or bad. And I thought it was done really, really well everything down to obviously there was parts of the suit that were animated 
there was probably a lot of stuff that when done well we won't even realize was animated but obviously the way the mask moved you know that's not a real thing you know his eyebrows couldn't move like that in a mask you know that cgi but really you don't because it was done so well and the explosions and the fight scenes and the way the camera would pan obviously cameras can't move in certain ways like that that was cgi it was amazing it was done so well but there was something wrong with Colossus. I don't know whether it was the makeup, the general look, it just didn't transform on camera, the CGI was bad. Something was wrong with Colossus. Colossus didn't work, Colossus stood out. He looked weirdly stiff, he looked like a bad Halloween costume. It just didn't work. From having such a superb costume and CGI, I don't know how something in the same film could look so odd. It just wasn't good. It goes without saying that it was laugh out loud funny. I can't remember the last time that I have laughed out loud so much to a film. It was so good. There were just so many in-jokes that were just so funny. Like there's one where he goes, where Colossus grabs Deadpool and he goes, I'm taking you back to see Xavier. And he goes, which one, McAvoy or Stewart? That's hilarious. It's so subtle and within two seconds that joke is over, but it's good. It's good, it's powerful, it's clever. It's really, really good. The only thing I would say with the them type of jokes, some of the jokes in there were so current or so topical that that will age the movie badly, which is a shame because it was, you know, it was genuinely really funny and good. There were certain characters that I just thought was really well done. I thought everyone was super awesomely cast. It was really, really well, well done in that way. But I loved the barman. I thought the barman was so funny. I thought he had good camera, like charisma. I thought he had a good relationship between Wade Wilson and Deadpool. I just thought this nerdy little geeky guy who worked in this bar full of people who just constantly try and kill each other and covered in guns was badass. I think he was awesome. And he, he, he turned around to Deadpool and he goes, I'd go with you, but uh, I don't want to. It's brilliant! I loved him. I really liked him. I genuinely thought Angel, that big buff lady, she should have been Wonder Woman. I genuinely think that level of physique is what Wonder Woman, an Amazonian goddess, should have. And I'm not saying the other girl's too thin. I think she looks great as Wonder Woman, but in all honesty, I just don't think she's bulky enough for how I envision Wonder Woman to be. Overall, I thought the film was amazing. My biggest gripes, however, do come as the film progresses. I totally believed Wade Wilson could fall in love. I totally believe Wade Wilson genuinely, truly loved this woman. However, I don't think the relationship was written very well. The entire film of them falling in love is through sex. And that's not love. That's infatuation, that's being besotted, that's a very physical thing. And I get it, the conversations they have or minimal of is meant to show that they're crazy together and they can explore everything with each other and they're so open with each other and that's why they're in love. But I just don't think it was given the, uh, enough balance to kind of say, look, they are these completely perfect for each other and love people. Yeah, they look like they were perfect together in the bedroom, but you know, you know? I also don't think she should have ended up with him. I think she should have died, which pushed him over the edge to be more insane or just to be Deadpool, or that they just didn't get back together. I think they made it a little too Disney-esque where, oh, I don't care what you look like, your face is still one I'd sit on. What? It just adds this dynamic I don't actually really like about Deadpool. There didn't have to be a love interest. Why does there always have to be a love interest? And why does the love interest always have to be a good thing? Someone said as we left the cinema that the ending just reminded them too much of Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy now. It, it just didn't need, it didn't need it. They didn't need to end up together. And I guess overall, that was probably my biggest gripe. The actual fact that Deadpool has a girlfriend just didn't... <sighs> My other little gripe is I don't think Deadpool wore his mask enough. I don't know if it was the fact that Ryan Reynolds wanted more screen time or just the fact that maybe the director worried that we couldn't relate to someone constantly wearing a mask. We have to see facial expressions. I don't know. But Deadpool's face is not meant to be pretty. It's not meant to be comfortable to look at. He has been, his skin's ravaged. His face is destroyed through all of these tests and 
I think it kind of humanized Deadpool and I know he is a human but we love Deadpool and you know it takes away that comic character-esque feel to it when you're always seeing his face he didn't wear his mask enough but overall it was a solid like 9 out of 10 film it was awesome it was so funny it was so well done I honestly think it's one of the best representations of a comic book character on the big screen I don't think he was crazy enough but he was the perfect type of crazy for a movie and for his first one yeah it was done so well now we've got Deadpool we've got the origin out the way we need to get the girlfriend out the way and then we can just focus on Deadpool again and it will be brilliant well that was it thank you so much for watching have you seen the film yet god I hope so because you don't need to now <laughs> What did you think of the movie? Do you agree with my opinions? Do you not agree with my opinions? Comment below, let me know. Thank you so much for watching one of my videos and don't forget to like, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe because it makes my day. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.